Well, I have very little energy today, but I thought maybe I've got it in me to make an icon. I'm working on an application with my friend and colleague Jinan Zhang, and we need to have a custom icon that looks like a zoom lock unlock toggle button. So I'm going to have a magnifying glass, which is uh, the, the proxy for zoom, and then a padlock with a lock and unlocked state. And I'm going to send that to Janan, and he's going to magically incorporate it into our project enough chit chat. I'll start with the ellipse tool and I'll draw a uh, um, an ellipse. I told you guys, low energy, but I'm, I'm putting out content for you. I love you and I appreciate you. Let's uh, give our, I'm gonna now have a uh, handle for our, oops, handle for our magnifier. Rectangle. Like about nya. And I'll pull it in the corners, round them off just a little bit, sand them, give them some sandpaper. And I want this to be hanging off at a 45 degree angle. Maybe a little longer. And uh, how do I get it? Just the right angle. Um, here's a silly hack. I'm going to have this line. Oops. Copy, control shift V to paste it in place. With the shift button, I'll rotate it so it snaps to 45s and 90s, which is handy. And then I'll grab this guy, oops, cancel. With a shift key, I'm gonna click both of them. And now I'm gonna rotate this with a shift key depressed. So it's at a 45. This is a reference. I'm gonna delete it in a second. <clears throat> I can come here, rotate this 45 degrees. And now I know where to line it up with those little guides saying, here you go, John, I've lined it up for you. Thank you, Illustrator. I can get rid of those now. Also, I'm gonna get rid of these outlines. You can still see it, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna make a Control C, Control Shift V, <clears throat> and I'm gonna grab this with the Shift key to press so it stays square. And I'm gonna, um, Pull it in and uh, center it. Is that centered? Yeah, it's centered. Now I'm going to select both of these and in the Pathfinder tools, which I love because of GIS. I'm a map maker and these are geoprocessing tools as far as I'm concerned. And let's see, I want to punch it out. Yeah! It worked. Let's see what I'm working with over here. I got a compound path and my handle rectangle. That's cool. Now I'm gonna zoom in with control and space bar and I'm just gonna, yikes, drag. Huh. To zoom in a little bit. Now it's time to make our padlock. I'm gonna use a rectangle tool um, and do something a little bit squat, not quite square, and I'll round its corners too, because I think that's what they look like generally. I'll center it. Okay, now, this is going to be kind of tricky. Um, I'm going to use the ellipse tool, and with a shift key depressed so it stays perfectly circular. I'll uh, do one of these. And I'm sure there's better ways of doing all of this, but it's Illustrator. We're all just working one hack at a time. And I'll uh, copy Control Shift V to paste in place. Shift key selected to keep it circular and shrink this buddy down. It's important that I, it's thick enough that I can still see it when I'm zoomed out. 
Is this centered? I don't know. Let me just align it. Boom. Oh, I lost it. I don't know why I did that. Okay. Now I'm going to punch it. And that's a, a decent lock. Okay, if I zoom out, does it hold up? This is gonna be rather small. Let's give you a, a quick background color. Oh, by the way, I always turn the transparency grid on for the background. Transparency grid, I love it. Otherwise, just why, why a white background? That's so arbitrary. Okay, let's give me a black background just so I can have some context. I'll lock that for now. Later, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, how am I doing? It's gonna be about this. Hmm. I'm going to make the lock a little smaller so I can afford more room here. Ooh. Oh, I'm just hitting the arrow keys up and down, but if you do uh, control, oh no, no, if you do shift, wait, 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 if you do alt, that just duplicates them. You know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't use Illustrator enough to remember these shortcuts. Um, okay, let's make this shorter down um, maybe I should like poke a hole in this like the lock hole you know the keyhole keyhole is the name of a rustic little pub in Mackinac City Michigan the keyhole now punch it out. Oh no, you can see this thing. Um, it's okay, let me just come here and I'll delete. Oh no, that's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to move, move it. I like to move it, move it. Okay. Does that look perfectly centered to you all? Oh my goodness, what am I doing? Oh my goodness, what am I doing? How embarrassing. Everyone's watching. I'm gonna group this for now. Group it. Okay. I don't want you to center on him. I want you to center in the circle. How do I do this? Man, I'm sure you guys are screaming right now, everyone who knows what they're doing. I select both of these, I would hope that, oh, darn it, <laughs> align to selection, there you go, okay, and here, I don't think it did anything, test, oh, it did, okay. Okay, now I'm going to make a version. I can ungroup this. And now I'm going to make a version of this where it's unlocked. This compound path comes up here. I'm going to call this locked. This will be the lock base. be the handle. And this will be um, the mag ring. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to copy this. Control C, hide that. Control Shift V, and now this one needs to appear unlocked. And I'm going to come right in and it's 
such a small size that I think I can get away with clumsily manually drawing this thing. <clears throat> so this look like this here and here. And I'm going to minus the front. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay. And then I'm going to come with this selecty doodad. Hold the shift key. So it's, oh boy, what have I done? Control shift Y. Control, oh no, oh no. Control Z. Z. Oh no. Control what? Oh no. Control shift Z. 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 Okay. I'm back. I'm gonna grab this guy and just bring it straight down. And I could add a node, but I think I'm just gonna cheat and see if we can get something plausible. These little curve handles. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness, you guys. You guys. I'm liking it. Right? Can I? Does it hold up? Locked. Unlocked. I'm gonna have to I have to ask Chanan to render it pretty large so it's clear. Unlocked. Locked. That's a Okay, we have we have room. We have room in the interface for this. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get rid of my background. I'm complete with this. I'm gonna drag it to the garbage thing. Um I'll select everything and I'll go to object artboards. Fit to selected art. Why don't I do anything? There we go. Okay. And I'm going to export this. An SVG from my friend Janan. This is C. Mockups. Zoom viewer, code name Zoom viewer. It's going to be called Optica. Okay, this is going to be Zoom locked. I, yep. Export. Okay. This is going to be. Zoom unlocked. By the way, it's so annoying that it puts the dash 01 after it for me. I can manage my own file naming. Thank you very much, Illustrator. Uh, Okie doke. Well, thanks for watching. And I promise to be back with more energy once I'm healthy and give you something that's actually good and useful and interesting. Also, I'll show you what the app looks like when it's all done. I'm excited about it. Woo, now it's time to go take a nap.